One Minute Manager by Ken Blanchard and Spencer Johnson is a classic management and leadership book that, even 30 years after it was first published, still has valuable practices to help you become a better manager and leader. The One Minute Manager is a fable that teaches three techniques for effective management. One Minute Goals, One Minute Praisings, and One Minute Reprimands. As a manager, learn and use these techniques to create more time to think and to plan, more time for work-life balance, and give the same to the people you manage, showing them you care about them as people. The story begins with a young man who is looking for an effective manager because he wants to work for one and become one himself. On his search, this young man meets someone who calls himself the One Minute Manager. He calls himself that because he has managed and coached the people in his company to get big results in very little time. The One Minute Manager then invites the young man to talk to three of the employees he manages so the young man can learn the three secrets of a One Minute Manager. He first meets Mr. Trinnell, who introduces One Minute Goal Setting. In the course of their conversation, the young man learns that One Minute Goal Setting works best when you agree on your goals, see what good behavior looks like, Write out each of your goals on a single sheet of paper using less than 250 words. Read and reread each goal, which requires only a minute or so each time you do it. Take a minute every once in a while out of your day to look at your performance and see whether or not your behavior matches your goal. Next, the young man meets Mr. Levy, who introduces one minute praising. There, he learns that one minute praising works best when you Tell people up front that you are going to let them know how they are doing. Praise people immediately. Tell people what they did right. Be specific. Tell people how good you feel about what they did right and how it helps the organization and the other people who work there. Stop for a moment of silence to let them feel how good you feel. Encourage them to do more of the same and shake hands or touch people in a way that makes it clear that you support their success in the organization. The young man learns the last secret of the One Minute Manager when he meets Miss Brown, who introduces him to the One Minute Reprimand. From her, he learns that the One Minute Reprimand works best when you tell people beforehand that you are going to let them know how they are doing, and in no uncertain terms. Reprimand people immediately. Tell people what they did wrong. Be specific. Tell people how you feel about what they did wrong, and in no uncertain terms. Stop for a few seconds of uncomfortable silence to let them feel how you feel. In the second half of the reprimand, shake hands or touch them in a way that lets them know you are honestly on their side. Remind them how much you value them. Reaffirm that you think well of them, but not of their performance in this situation. Realize that when the reprimand is over, it's over. These are the three big ideas and secrets in the book. The One Minute Manager by Ken Blanchard and Spencer Johnson that we have covered today. But you will want to pick up the One Minute Manager to understand why these three practices help managers get greater results in less time and motivate you to use them to make your organization flourish and show real care for your employees. Also, if you liked this review, you might like our employee engagement software, Calibrain, because several of these practices are made easier with the help of Calibrain. The One Minute Manager by Ken Blanchard and Spencer Johnson is an enjoyable, quick read that is packed with knowledge. Pick it up today by clicking on the link directly below this video.